Du bist jetzt schon da. Ja, ich bin da so extrem Hi. Wie ist es? Gut. Ist auch kein Gewadel? Ja, gerade, ja. Hello, friends and followers, and welcome back to a new video. We are staying, standing underneath my bridge. This is the old uh, 30k graffiti that I painted and over there you can see the graffiti from the Battle of the Giants and today I'm painting together with another giant with Kont. Uh, I will show you some of um, his uh, pictures from his Instagram now so that you have an idea who is this guy. Uh, yeah, today we want to destroy Doki. Sorry Doki for this. But, but um, yeah, I would say, let's start painting. <laughs> I was just fixing the, the part in the middle with some canvas and uh, Kant is so fast. Look at this. He's so freaking fast. His first lines are already done. And I didn't even start. <laughs> okay, at this moment I'm just balancing out the piece because between the O, this part is from the O and the E, there was such a big gap and I like to put these kind of lids, I call these half circle elements lids. I put a lid here, but if I have a lid on the right side, I because of the weight and the balance, I need a lid on the other side as well. And I like not to put it like mirrored on the up upper side there. That means that what is on the right side at the top can be at the left side at the bottom. So I put a lid here to balance it out. And I had the feeling that I need these elements. They, I call them chips. I wanted to have a chip here to make this part of the letter a little bit more interesting. I need another chip on the other side and I, I now I, I balance the whole style until I'm, I'm satisfied and then I can start. But today, today I will be slow Nova. Slow Nova is a slow guy. I feel so comfortable with freestyling now. So much fun. So much fun. Uh, by the way, I painted another freestyle in this town and I did not record a video about it and I will show it to you now. Um, this is it. Wreck, get him a wreck. Ok, 
Okay, some quick words about the color combination that I want to paint. Um, I will start with this um, brimstone over lime. And um, at the bottom, I will make the fading into uh, clockwork orange. This will be my, fa my fading for the fill-in. And the outlines uh, will be in cherry blossom with some shading. And um, Kant will do it uh, completely in the opposite way. He will use um, the, the, the lime color for the outlines and he will make the um, cherry blossom and the, the violet colors as the fill-in. I think this, this will be interesting and we'll see at the end which graffiti will pop more out of the wall and you can definitely write a comment what you think who was popping more. This is the pop battle. Okay, this is super interesting. Now I am faster than Kant because Kant, what he is doing, this is totally strange. I've never seen somebody doing this. He makes the whole fill in only with a skinny cap. Because his philosophy is that a skinny cap fills in the space is better even if it is slower. And I have to admit that he is right. This is very accurate. I don't know if it is visible in the video, but there are all still some, some spots where the background is, is a little bit dirty. Because I always paint only for the photo and for the video and for the memory. And um, yeah, I don't like to waste cans. But I think that I even use more paint when I paint with a, uh, with a fat cap uh, than Kant does with the skinny cap technique. Let's do the outlines now. We are really really good in time, so fast, but I have a little headache because I was drinking some wine yesterday in the evening and I had one glass too much I think. Oh. Let's start the shading. I will record everything so because I know that you all like my shading so much.
finally I'm done with the blocks. I'm super happy with the blocks, block effects. Basically it's all the time the same, but I always like especially parts like, like this, where the shadow goes over the fill-in and down on the, on the block. Um, I have such a, such a part here as well. So cool. Super happy, super happy. And now I will do just a little bit of drop shadow and some glowing, glowy dots that are flying around, some sparkles. And after that, I'm done for today, I would say. Just maybe a little bit of designs in the fill-in, but not so much. I like it when it's pretty clean. I like clean graffiti. Yeah, so satisfied. Let's look what Kant is doing. Ah, the kids are coming. <coughs> my wife and my kids are visiting me now. Okay, friends and followers, we are done for today. This was a real quick freestyle, cool graffiti session together with the man, Kant. And now I will show you the final result. By the way, a lot of you guys always ask me why do I put a heart uh, on top of my, my graffiti styles and uh, this is not a heart, this is a broken halo because a lot of other writers they put a halo on top of their uh, graffiti styles and I just uh, bended it in the middle so that it makes this, this kind of heart shape but in general it is a broken halo. Cool, right? And a big thanks to Montana Cans for supporting us with the best spray paint on the world. Uh, please check out their channel. It is linked over there or over there. I don't over there. It is linked over there. Check, check out their channel. They have a lot of cool graffiti videos as well. Spread some love. And uh, thanks a lot to Kant for uh, helping me to paint this whole wall in just a few hours. Um, follow this guy, here is his Instagram handle. Um, Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you were a little bit entertained and we see us in the next video. Ciao.